Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy Movember. Um, so the original plan was to work on the pond. I was supposed to get some 57s delivered. Ended up raining so he couldn't bring the 57s. So instead, we're gonna winterize the cabin um, and then we're gonna install my composting toilet and see where that puts us. Okay, so step one is to turn off the pump. Step two is to depressurize the system. Let that low point drain go. This is another low point drain that I had to put in due to bad foresight. Step three is to switch these valves. So now, instead of drawing from the tank, we draw from my pump, my hose here. Step four, turn off the valve going into the cabin. Open this hose valve. And I got this short little section of hose. Usually it stays attached, but I was using it for the pond pump, so we're gonna put this on. All right, that's on there. And it just goes to right there. And we grab our little bottle of propylene glycol. Oh, oh took it out already. Bottle of propylene glycol that I took out already. And now the next step is to just uh, run the pump for maybe 5-10 seconds, enough to purge the water out of the pump. That ought to be plenty. Alright, so we got a little bit of pink um, alcohol type antifreeze here on the ground, so I know it came out. And most importantly is just, you know, getting it out of the pump and getting out of that sediment filter there. Um, all right, so that's it. Winterization is done. Um, I do this every year. It's always good for a lot of questions. So if you have any questions, um, ask away. Uh, so it's a drain back system. It's worked perfectly with one exception, which I'll get to a little bit later in the video. But otherwise, um, it, it's just, it works. It's easier than it seems. Uh, so anyway, let's move on to something else. So I said it worked with one exception. And the one exception was just this spout. And I don't know if it was something I did wrong or if it's just a little trap in the spout that doesn't allow the water to escape, but either way, it broke. So we're gonna fix that and then improve the system. So here's a cool story about um, Delta. I called them to, to order a new faucet handle and uh, they were like, well, it's still under warranty if you have the receipt. And I was like, well, it broke because I froze it. Not really because of anything that was wrong with it and they're like it doesn't matter we'll send you a new we'll send you a whole new faucet so they sent me everything uh for free even though it was probably my fault that it froze so that was kind of cool i usually am pretty anti-warranty i generally think they're garbage but that was a good warranty i didn't even intend to collect on it and so we have something this year that we didn't have last year and that is a sink trap so we've got to do a little bit more. So we've got to displace the water in the trap. So we're just going to put enough of this in to move what's in there out. And that should be more than enough. I don't, we don't get really super, super cold freezes here. All right, and so I said I wanted to improve the system. I do, the stakes are higher this year. I have a hop. A water heater, not a hot water heater, that'd be redundant. I have a water heater, it was pretty expensive, so I want to improve the system a little bit so that I don't risk damaging that, so we're gonna work on that now. All right, so I bought a couple of these things so that I can blow everything out with the air just to make sure, so we're gonna put these in now. All right, so when I installed this water heater, I put three-way valves, just like the ones I used to winterize the cabin. Um, there shouldn't be any water in here. We'll turn this on slow just to make sure. Um, okay, yeah, so nothing's draining back. Let's see if anything would come out of the hot. A little air pressure, but nothing else. Ooh, I do hear water draining, so that's good that we did that. And so I've got a uh, female here. We're going to thread this on. That's on there. A little 
little tighter. <laughs> All right, so we need some AC power, so we'll turn the inverter on and we'll flip our breakers on. Let's see what's going on over here. It shouldn't really be building up pressure. Hopefully I can feel air coming out of here. Oh, you know what? It's probably going out down below. Hold on, I'm gonna go close that. Let's close this. All right, we gotta close these low point drains too, just to see if we can pressurize. I can hear it coming out there. And shut this one. Let's see, let's see if we're building up pressure. And not yet, but that would be okay because we've got one open. Yep, oh wow, look at that. So we are getting some water. That could be any water anywhere in the system. So let's, uh, let's close that valve for a second. Now let's see if we're building up pressure. Uh, finally building up pressure. I'm going to turn this down. We don't need 120 psi to Get it up to like 50. That'll be equivalent to about what the water pressure is. That's about 30 right now That should work for our purposes So now I'm just gonna go around and just oh, yeah I get a bucket here Actually the first thing we should do now that we've got a little pressure is just see these things We've got all new plumbing in here, so. Look at that. So about this one here. That's a good thing I did that. We've got a lot of new plumbing this year. Um, I tried to make it all drain back. Obviously I failed in some places, but now that we've got that pressurized on there, I feel a lot better. I'm gonna go around and check the rest of the fixtures in the house. Uh, you guys don't need to see me do that, but I am gonna do it. Uh, and then we'll move on to installing the composting toilet. Mm -hmm. 